Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Tyler Hero. Unfortunately, I don't actually think this Tyler Hero card's very good. I think he's the worst of the Dark Matters today, and honestly, I don't think the Dark Matters today are the best they've ever been. So, Hero's a pretty mid card, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not super high on him as an overall option, but that being said, we are gonna give him a good try in today's video and see what he can do. And before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it tyler hero six foot five but only a six three wingspan at the shooting guard position that's pretty small uh or sorry the point guard position i should say is where he's primary i mean he's listed shooting guard but he can play point guard and that's what he's really there for um he comes with a 97 driving layup 98 mid-range 98 three ball 90 driving duct uh, 96 ball handle defensively he's solid like his stats and batters are good decent speed good lateral quickness decent strength good stamina uh 95 vert like overall good looking card 40 hoffs include a lot of hoffs i mean and pretty good ones as well even interior badges i mean like clamps glove he doesn't have the interior hoffs i should say but um like not a bad card but he does not have a move enforcer at all that's not good because you can't add that he's again short wingspan smaller player build not a big 6'5 and then I just don't think, like, animation-wise, he got upgraded as much as he should have. This card does not have elite-level animations. His release is on very quick. D-Book Escape is fine, or D-Book Fade is fine, or D-Book Dribble Style, I should say, is fine, but his dribble style is mid, uh, or not his dribble style, his uh, behind-the-back is mid, his... His movement's just not great. His escape is mediocre. Even his fade is his own fade, which I'm not going to lie, is not an incredible fade. It doesn't create an unbelievable amount of space. I mean, it is pretty fast, but it creates almost no space at all going left and not a ton of space going right either. So I just think in general, this hero card is, he's fine, but he, just animation-wise, he's not special. And again, just like I was saying in the Underwoods gameplay, and I think it's very similar to this hero card, except hero's even worse. It's like, there's so many good free point guards. There's just no role for a guy like Tyler Hero in most lineups. And I just don't think, I think it'll be fun to use. I I think he'll be fine and anthony edwards we had a lot of success with him i think we'll have success with tyler hero too but i don't know if he's going to be unbelievably great or anything like that so with that being said let's hop into a game let's see what tyler hero can do our opponent has dark matter jason tatum opal marcus Saul, a couple of mediocre opals and chris middleton and k love and then a pink diamond john morant this is not a very good team especially with how many readily available free point guards there are in this game that this dude does not currently have um not particularly impressed i'm not gonna lie but that being said, uh, Tyler Hero, I don't really hate him not having a super hard matchup because I don't have super high expectations for this card. I don't love the fact that his escape isn't very good. I think his release is fine, but it's not unbelievable. I missed there. That's on me. That was a good shot. It was wide open. I should have hit it. But I just, I have a hard time as a whole getting super excited about a Tyler Hero card that isn't unbelievable in any specific area at all. Good standing there for Marcus Saul. Very physical standing, and we, We're going to run the floor, though. I could get an assist to uh, Bull Bull if I wanted to, and I actually kind of want to. I'm taking the three-pointer. Good shot. Bull Bull will take our easy three ball and we'll take that assist very nice i was i was gonna pass that up but then i saw he relocated to the three point line i was like you know what that's beautiful we'll take a free three pointer play that oh i tried to get there that's okay good defense stay in front of jason tatum get through the screen that's fine switch help down good d a lot of size here he doesn't space the floor all that well and that is easy spacing for a fast break run the floor tyler hero stop this play behind the i just think he has no sigs i mean d-book dribble style is fine we get to a fade and we hit it good shot but Ugh, I'm just not super duper impressed right now, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. Card's not, he's not exactly hooping. So, um, chill, get back. Good defense. Wall up. You're fine. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. That's all right. Um, D book. I mean, tell Tyler Hero has what? Three points, one assist so far. Not a horrible start. I, I do think he's usable. I don't think, I think if you have good skill with the card, he's got enough to be usable. And the thing is, we're getting to the point in the year where even like the quote unquote bad cards are still usable enough. If you have skill and you want to use the card and you have the card, feel free. With that being said, the people out there who want to use Tyler Hero, I mean, he's a gambling card just like all these other guys. He may not be as good of a gambling card as some of them, but still, if there are people out there trying to use Tyler Hero, the new Tyler Hero card is not a card they can get without gambling, and that is regardless of whether he is an elite level card or not, and that's a problem. So he's not an elite level gambling card you know what i mean like he's not horrific but he's just not a best of the best with the new elite level cards especially at a position that has as much free depth as the point guard position does 
but he's very usable. I just wish he was more attainable, and that, again, is kind of the problem with literally every single one of these Dark Matters. I don't know what I'm doing defensively there, giving that up, but it winds up working out here. We're going to D-book dribble style into a fat stop, into a not a crab, and a heavy that I just shot. I thought I was going to get a crab. That was a horrible, horrible decision. Um, step up, play the slip. Good defense. Click on contest. Very nice. Very good. Click on. Good defense. Yep. Go under. Wall up, and that should be a stop. Oh, my gosh. That is a stop. Very nice. Um, can I green a shot, please? Can I get an open shot? I got an open shot. Can I green it? Yes, I can. Let's go. That was a deep three. That was damn near a four-pointer as well. Six points, one rebound, one assist. That deep book dribble style still gives you a great push cross, and that's the one sig that he does have that you can kind of go to. But the thing is, he's had that ever since his Amethyst card at the beginning of the year. Like, upgrade the man's sigs, please. Especially a 6'5", smaller PG who's not an unbelievably elite defender. We gotta upgrade his animations more than 2K did this time, and that is not something that I'm a big fan of, and that's really my complaint with a guy like Tyler Hero. And it's my complaint with Anthony Edwards as well, as I just think 2K could have done a much better job with these cards and made them a lot better than they actually are without i mean they still wouldn't be the best point guards in the game even if they had near perfect six but i think they definitely be a lot better than they are right now and that unfortunately i mean it is what it is but it, it is kind of annoying catch shoot wide open three tyler hero nice release nice shot nine points one rebound one assist i mean hoping for sure he's having a good game but again we're not going up against great opponent all these cards can hoop against mediocre opponents you know what i mean all these cards are good enough at this point to be able to do that he backdoors me there gets a dunk but we're up six with a minute 46 left should be able to close this out i'll take another you know what i'll pass out the assist i'll reset it and try to get another three ball or something um reject the screen face his fate is literally creates zero separation like it's basically negative separation is how much is what i would consider his fate um behind let's go pick and pop here just run around in a circle hit it to hero hero here spin go inside lay it up and off okay i don't know what this card is like all that useful for because there's because clyde Drexler's way better than him like way way better than him as is sga as is like five other free point guards so this card literally doesn't have a spot in like anybody's lineup who's actually been playing the game um yeah i don't know not not super high on this hero card kind of disappointed by him to be honest foul on john morant there is going to give glenn rice free throws i almost don't even want to play the last minute of this game because it's just like what's the point there's nothing else to really learn about tyler hero at this point he's not certainly not special at the pg spot unfortunately card i mean i like tyler hero in real life too i just i wish his cards are better in 2k because honestly he has a nice release I, he, if he would get a better card early in the year, some better SIGs, some better movement, he could be one of those really fun scoring PGs in my team. Just like he's a fun scorer to watch in real life. But unfortunately, he's literally never been that. And it's like, even at this point in the year, when it's, even if you give him perfect SIGs, he's still not incredible. They still don't. And it's like, that's lame to me. Same thing with a guy like Anthony Edwards. The lack of size does hurt those types of guys, but they'd still be super usable if they had better animations. And let's, He's not unusable. They'd just be elite if they had better animations, and he's unfortunately not elite. But nice move there again. Gets 12 points. Gets to his 12th point of the game, I should say. Uh, wall that up. That's a block or a stop. That works. Giannis 100 overall is just doing it on defense, man. And I got plucked. Good D. Good D, man. I respect it. I respect it. That is a respectable defensive play. And he gets a wide open mid-range off of it. But misses. 17 seconds left. I held the ball, but I got sharp take. So I'm going to get one more three ball. Let me run up the court. Let me fat stop. And let me shoot from absolutely not. Why is he stepping so high? That is so lame. All right. That's game. 12 points, one rebound, one assist. Okay. Not amazing performance by Tyler Hero. This is not a card I was super high on or super impressed by. 12 points, one rebound, one assist. Four, nine, four, seven, and three. I enjoyed this gameplay enough. He's usable enough, but he's just not an elite level top tier point guard. And at that point, at this point, that's not the type of card that you want to get, especially with a top tier quote unquote gambling card like a Dark Matter. So zero cards, pretty disappointing. Definitely one of the worst Dark Matters in my team. So that is good for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.